Hi and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Phelan. Our cameraman is Henry. Today we're going to show you the Palomino SS1500. A couple things before we get started. Uh, the truck that it goes on is three quarter ton or one ton truck and you would have to have the eight foot bed. Um, there are some guys that do put it on the half ton truck. So your newer half ton truck uh, with the new capacities that they have uh, will work on that as well. We also order it in the cool gray. Uh, there is a white exterior option as well. Uh, the reason we order it in cool gray is because the difference in the fiberglass. This is a heavy duty gel coated fiberglass versus the white being a performance glass, which is a thinner. Um, you can actually see the fibers in the fiberglass on that. And also it shows the uh, black streaks much quicker than what the cool gray does. We'll go ahead and get started in the back. You do have your uh, full assist grab handle at your entry door. Your entry door is a friction hinge. We do not have latches like we've had in the past, so when you open this, it stays in that position. You also have the integrated shade in your entry door as well. This bracket right here is for a backup camera, so if you're towing a trailer or a boat, uh, you do have the option to add the backup camera. So you can see what's going on back there. Porch light, and then we have the uh, roof lift system is very nice with the, um, the system on the outside for the simple fact if something would happen you have to change it out. You basically take this nut off, that nut off, this bracket off, change it out and you're ready to go. So very simple to work on. Also if for some reason you'd have to use the manual override it is right here conveniently uh, where you can access it to run it manually. Uh, the jacks for the camper are manual. You can upgrade to the electric jacks by we'd have to remove the heads, put the electric jacks on, wire in the brain and remote. Um, so that is an upgrade option if you would like to do that. This does come with your manual crank handle as well as an adapter for your cordless drill. So you can uh, run it up and down much faster with this adapter with a cordless drill. Outside shower does have your hot and cold. Your dump station is down here, so you do have a black valve and a gray valve for your black tank being the toilet, gray being your shower. Reaper vents, 20,000 BTU furnace. Water heater is an on-demand water heater, so you can um, pretty much have instant hot water and endless hot water. And the real nice thing is it's 60% more efficient than what they've used in the past. Freshwater connection is where you'd fill your freshwater uh, holding tank on board. If you dry camp, then you would turn on your water pump switch on the inside for your water supply. City water connection is where you connect your water hose at a campsite, then you have an outside reset. 30 amp connection it does come with your 30 amp detachable cord, so it's not a cord that you're pulling out, pushing back in, taking away from storage from the inside. And then lastly down here is your drain. This cap is for the drain for the kitchen sink. The kitchen sink does not have a holding tank, so you would have to connect a hose to that, run it out in a tote or whatever for that. Moving around up front here, we do have a seven way uh, plug right here. This is identical to what's on your truck. This cord is also included. It is a double seven way male cord. So you plug it into here, run back inside the bed, and plug it into your seven-way on the truck. That gives you your clearance lights, your tail lights, power to the camper. And while you're traveling, it will charge your onboard battery. So whether you're plugged into the truck or your shore power on the outside, it will charge your onboard batteries. You also have a port right here. So if you have a portable solar panel, you can alligator clip to this to... Um, charge your onboard batteries. There is also a solar panel prep on the roof. So if you'd like to add a stationary solar panel on the roof, uh, that option is available as well. Then lastly, bas uh, battery disconnect right here. So if you put the unit in storage, um, you can disconnect the battery so it doesn't drain from your LP detector and that sort of thing. Oh, and then one more thing, if you do happen to stop at uh, like a Walmart parking lot to camp overnight or whatever, we encourage you to disconnect the seven way here and put it in the holder over here because over time, if your batteries do get weak and the batteries don't last through the night, it will draw off of the truck, truck battery 
and could possibly drain that and leave you stranded. Okay, we're gonna move around the front. We'll show you the front end and move over to the passenger side. <clears throat> Not a whole lot over here. I do have the dinette window open so you can see there is cross ventilation and you can obviously open the vinyl screen around the whole camper. Uh, it has a privacy curtain, a tinted uh, vinyl film, and then your screen on the outside. So you can open and have screen all the way around if you'd like. It does come with a 30 pound LP tank here and that will be filled by the Outpost RV for you. And then lastly, you have a storage compartment at the bottom just to throw a few items in there. I believe that concludes the outside of the Palomino SS 1500 and now we'll move to the inside. Before we get started on the inside, I do want to talk about the roof lift system a little bit. There is a switch on the inside I'll show you here in a bit um, where you run the roof up and down. But what I wanted to show you is a trick to lowering the roof um, as far as tucking in the vinyl. If you close all the windows and open, there's a uh, three speed fan above the bed that creates a lot of vacuum. So if everything is closed up, and I'll show you here in a bit, I'll close this door and it'll, it'll show you the vacuum that it creates. And what it does as you lower the roof, it will suck in the vinyl for you. And we always stop about two inches before the roof is completely closed just to make sure everything is tucked in and you can lower it the rest of the way and clamp it down and you're ready to go. So I'm gonna step inside to show you the vacuum that it creates. And then you can, as you lower the roof, it'll keep that sucked in for you. And like I said, just stop about two inches before it's closed and then tuck it in and lower it the rest of the way and clamp it down. Moving in, we have the bathroom to the left. We have a lot of cabinet storage to the right. Uh, we'll step inside, do a little brief uh, look around, and then we'll get started here in the back. We'll swing you around here, try to not make you dizzy. We do have a lot of cabinet storage in the 1500, so that is uh, definitely a plus for this model. Large countertop on, on the top here. We have a nice large drawer two cabinet doors underneath that and then an upright cabinet door in the back and you will see i do have the power cords uh, in there so you can see those do come along with the camper uh, the overhead cabinets are right here they're hanging vinyl bags this does have a shelf in this one and then we have one above the dinette and then also one above the kitchen sink i'll show you here in a bit the dinette, the table is on a pedestal. You can lower that down and you'll see here in a bit, there's an extra cushion up on the bed that fills that in. And then you can turn this into a sleeping arrangement in the dinette area. The floor that the pedestal sits on is a false floor. So there's a uh, storage underneath there as well for the pedestal and whatever else you'd like. Here is your step to step up in the bed area. Uh, that is where you have your battery would be mounted in there. Your fresh water holding tank is in there. Your plumbing, like your water pump and that would be in there as well. That is accessible through that carpet pad that you see there on top. On the right hand side is your water pump switch. If you do any dry camping and then you have a receptacle, your uh, LP and carbon monoxide detector, then your converter box, which has your breakers and your fuses in there. Moving up into the bed area, this is a 60 by 80 residential queen. You do have some cabinet space at the foot of the bed. So these do open for storage underneath there. And then you have your uh, furnace thermostat on the right, along with a USB port. There you can see the three speed fan above the bed. And then we're we'll back up here and show you the kitchen area. Uh, there's your overhead cabinet above the kitchen. We have a sink, two burner stove top, a three way refrigerator, and then your bathroom to the left. We're gonna go ahead and start right here. You have a tip out drawer at the base cabinet right there. This is your water heater monitor control board, I should say, so you can adjust your temperature and turn it on and off. 20,000 BTU furnace, that is what they call a direct dump. 
So it is not ducted, it just dumps into this cavity. And the countertop, you have your two burner stove top. Uh, I'll open this up so you can see what that looks like. So you, uh, it has a flush mounted top there for prep space when you're not using the stove. And then it also serves as a splash guard when using your stove. Again, in the sink, it has a sink cover, giving you more prep space if needed. That is a single bowl stainless steel sink. And then your three-ray refrigerator is electric, gas, and 12 volt. And that does have your freezer compartment up here at the top. Countertop space above that. So these do not come with microwaves. So if you have a uh, residential microwave, you can set it up there on top and plug it into the receptacle on the side. And then lastly here in the back was your bathroom area. It's what they call a wet bath. So you have your toilet shower combo, some storage underneath there, nice large countertop, as well as a skylight. I believe that concludes the inside of the Palomino SS 1500. Do one more brief walkthrough. You can contact myself or Henry or Jeremy at 866-338-9845. And again, my name is Phelan, and thank you for watching.